my name is Claire. I am a data scientist. I live in LA. Started to wear glasses since I was like fourth grade, and I'm in my、uh, mid thirties now. When I started with myopia, like contact lens wise, I was about like minus seven point five for my left, and then minus eight for my right, and then I have like. A little bit of astigmatism for both eyes. It's like one and a half year now. Right now, I'm wearing minus four point two five for my left and four point seven five for my right. I've reduced like a little bit over three diopters. That's a lot of reduction. So we were at minus seven point five. So did you just buy lower correction glasses? Online or did you go to the optometrist? So how did you start that whole process? I think I ordered contact lens from there's like a UK website. You know when I started, I think I just follow your email. I sign up seven days free email、uh, guidelines. They they're very informative, and then I I believe that I've just like watch all your like YouTube videos. How much did you reduce the first time? First time I reduced by zero point five. And what were you doing for close up at that time? I got a pair of、uh, reading glasses. Is that still mainly what you're doing now? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. No eye chart in your place. There is an eye chart from your website. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And what can you? Which lines can you see? Twenty twenty, twenty thirty. Where are you at with the current current normalized? When it's a good day, I could see probably twenty thirty. So how do you feel now? Like when is the next reduction coming? You think? I actually feel like I have reduced like a little faster than I maybe should have actually. <laughs> And actually,、uh, I think so. I've been wearing this for like two months. Back then, I was going to reduce four point five. As opposed to four point two five, I actually reduced further. <laughs> It's not supposed <laughs> what we're supposed to do, but the reason I did that, you know, I feel like I do not have enough blur challenge. My neighbor's license plate, I would like. Look, and then I'll be like, okay, this is always clear. I can do like active focus and stuff, and so that's why I reduce a little bit. And I think for outdoor vision, I'm good. I always feel like when I'm outdoor, I'm like, okay, the reduction it's coming. Maybe in I would say like maybe a month when I'm indoor. In terms of the, of the how clear I can see, it's not quite there yet. Indoor is always like that because the the quality of the lighting and then the amount of lighting, right? Like whenever the light reduces, your pupils are wider open. Any kind of focal plane error is going to be more noticeable. So that's always going to be the case for sure, and you know that because you've made plenty of reductions already. And it's definitely a good idea to considering how much you've already reduced to be a little bit conservative. Yeah. But then also you'll notice, right? Because there'll be you you put in the next reduction and you'll know how much more blur there should be. And if that amount is all of a sudden more, then you know that maybe you're a little bit ahead still. But I think lately I would sometimes see this. I think it's called the clear flash or something.、Mm. It was my neighbor's car. It was the license plate that I would look at with my、uh, glasses to do like active focus in the morning. Yeah, and sometimes I would see. I was like, what? Wow. It's amazing. The full episode of the Short Sighted Podcast and lots more episodes are available in the Back to 2020 member section, along with hundreds of pro topic videos I made over the years, lots of guides, access to a community forum with over 90,000 monthly member visits, and tons more resources in Back to 2020.